Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Today the discussion is about committing sins and the love of Allah Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh um, It's brother Absar here and also brother Amin Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi Today's topic will be about the love of Allah and committing sins uh, But before we, we start the topic we would like to speak about why we haven't been uploading Obviously Amin did uh, explain in a previous video um, what the case was and, it, and it, it has been a continuation of that we have been busy with you know our college work and a few other things but inshallah um, if you give give us some patience uh, and also Allah gives us the strength to upload it we will, we will upload soon um, a few uh, but today today's discussion is about the love of Allah and committing sins and inshallah we do have a few people um, brother Abdul Qayyum And Brother Ali here, but the main discussion will be about will be between me and, uh, and Brother. I mean, um, we might refer to Ab- uh, Brother Abdul Qayyum and Brother Ali if they, if they do want to, but you know, we're not here to force anyone. So, what today's topic is about it stems from a little uh, video that I saw the other day, and it was explaining that why haram relationships are haram, and why you're not allowed to have. You know, uh, a boyfriend or a girlfriend, and then the brother in the video who's explaining how having this, having you know, a lot of people see it today as having these haram relationships being normal. But if you look into it, why has Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala made it haram? You know, if any of you have been in a haram relationship and Allah has given you guidance now, you may know that when you come out of that kind of relationship, this sort of relationship, a piece of you is destructed by that you know by that past you've had um, by the past you've had uh, with this with this certain person it becomes you know, when you leave them or when they leave you or you know you have a breakup or something like that um, you, a part of you leaves with them and you become you know I've, I've seen a lot of people that have become very depressed and they, they lose iman and they lose faith over what over a person that you know was not meant to be and Allah, He recognizes this for your best, and that's why Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has made premarital relationships haram. And I would like to pose you a question before I hand over to Amin for his segment: What sin that you see today, what haram deed that you see today, that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has made haram, is do you think has been made haram unfairly? Put pause the video if you need to think about it. What deed has Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made haram unfairly and you think that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ha- could have made this halal, you know? Let, let, let me give you a few examples. Drinking. You know the consequences of drinking. It you know makes your, your mind go somewhere else. And that's not good. A lot of, a lot of stories uh, you know, come from you know, drunk people where they've done something that they regret for the rest of their lives or it has taken people's lives. Drink, driving, things like that. Same with drugs. A lot of people some might say, oh, shisha is not bad, you know, cigarettes aren't that bad. In the long term, what it does to your body, it's irreversible in many, many cases. In many, many cases, it's irreversible. Uh, looking at adultery, you know, with all these uh, d- diseases that have come up in, the re- in recent years, uh, HIV, AIDS, d- different things that have you know, ruined lives and ruined communities and families. You know, uh, I was looking on um, Wikipedia the other day saying that South Africa or Swaziland has 26% of their entire population is contracted with HIV and AIDS. Subhanallah, what have we descended to as humans? It's worse than, you know, the animals in the jungle at, at the moment right now. Um, so I, I would like to think, you can think of any sins and if you have any questions, please post them down in the comments. But every sin that is, um, you know, Placed as in the haram category, it has major, major implications onto what your life, you know, it, what your life might be if you commit those sins. And a lot of people that commit these sins, they don't find happiness in their life. And one thing I do want to point out is the sin of music. And a lot of people today have made it halal to, for themselves to listen to this. And at high, in hindsight, when you look at it, music doesn't seem that bad, you know. You, you listen to it, what's the, what's the harm in music? 
in the long term or even in the short term when you see what the effect music has on a community or a person the amount of vulgar uh, and even you know mild pornography is hasn't it's not even even mild anymore it's, it's quite intense in many cases in the music industry that's you know pro- projected onto the youth and everything today and the vulgar language and the use of drugs and everything it's absolutely disgusting what it has become and also what I wanted to, to speak about you know <coughs> how they say music is the the, the devil the shayateen's Quran there is videos on the on YouTube that you can find now I won't say it because firstly I don't know I've, uh, the, the name of it I think has you know skipped my mind and secondly I don't really want you to go and you know experiment on this but there is a videos on on YouTube that you can get that give you a, a drug high a very very intense high in your brain from listening to certain frequencies and different um, amounts of, of music and instruments and that can really affect someone uh, studies have been shown that you know it can make someone borderline crazy and, and it just shows how what influence it has it has mind controlling influences on, on on your body and you might not realize it but from listening to to music it can it, in the long term you you know you you could be listening to a song about drugs and and you can be thinking that you know oh, I'm not going to take these drugs it's fine but in the long term you find yourself immune to what they are saying and what you're seeing a lot of people today why is there so many rape cases and and sexual harassment cases today it's from what we listen to and what we look at especially with TV shows music and everything with games on 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 you know the your console and everything it's just a lot of the youth today have got intertwined with this culture and they, it's making you think that it's okay in the society. And as I pass it on to Amin and he can expand on it, I just want to pose a question to you guys. How much of this do you have in your life and how much can you improve on? May Allah give us the, the tawfiq and, and the ability to improve on ourselves. And inshallah, uh, we can stop us ourselves from you know falling into these traps. And uh, with no further ado, I do pass it on to Amin and... Um, assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. So you know, um, brother, some made a point about music, right? So you have to understand um, why music is bad and why why is music why music is haram. We need first need to understand. Um, we first need to, we first need to understand um, how it was made. Um, you know, from the, from the, from like from the uh, stories of the prophets, we find we know that you know other um, one of the other one of Adam and Islam's children killed the other one. And the one who was killed, he went off, and Shaitan, you know, um, um, convinced his people. Shaitan came in the form of a boy and convinced his people, you know, um, to create flutes. Shaitan, sorry, um, Shaitan created flute and started playing it. And people thought, oh, this is nice, so let's go for it. Now, as people went on and on and on, as time went on, um, people started following that tune. So now, um, other things started sprouting from there. So things that, um, drown, um, um, you know, free mixing or you know, adultery, things like this. So, from here we can understand that you know, music is what cause. Music is basically the um, root of many sins. For example, because if, if you look at if you look at these days, right, go to any you know um, any public institutions, like colleges and stuff. You go to any you go you walk inside a classroom, right? How many students there do you see um, with headphones on? Every, pretty much every single student has a headphone on, all right? And um, they either listen to something, you know. Benefic- some some students um, may be listening to something beneficial, right? But others, well, most majority, are listening to some music. Now, those those students who are listening to music, they got into some um, dodgy stuff, you know, like smoking, drugs, alcohol, you know, um, harm relationships and stuff. Another point, you know, um, I would like to make is, you know, many of us always question, right? Um, why do bad things only happen to me, right? We need to see. We need to understand that. Bad things happen, negative things happen for a reason. Okay, so like um, one of the reasons, for example, taking um, I don't know a back accident. Okay, no, that's that's really bad. You, you could you could lo- you could lose your legs, you could lose your life. But you need to look at the um, long term. Now, for example, um, let's give me exa- let me let me use myself as an example. Okay, I'm riding a bike. Now, um, across there's a red light. Across the red light, I don't really care. Okay, I'm speeding. Um, it's a 20 mile per hour road. I'm speeding from uh, with 40, 50 miles per hour. Now, because I'm going that fast, a car comes in, smashes my bike. I go for, I go rolling across the f- uh, across the road. Now, Alhamdulillah, uh, if I survive from this scenario, in this scenario, I survive. Now, um, what can I now? 
in the future do you think i'll be going you know i'll i'll be um uh, list i'll be doing this the same thing no i wouldn't because i know that if i do it the same thing will happen so you need to see the um, you know the long term uh, effect of bad things happening to you for example if someone fell, another example could be someone fell their gccs now um, it could be that you know they could get um you know they could do apprenticeships at that point and get a bad job than those who get degrees so you know you need to see the good side of the bad side another um and yeah so there's another point which I have to me and um another um, one of the most common things these days is you know pornography something that I've mentioned um, brother I've mentioned just a while ago he said that in music the thing is in music there's in music in these days is just a full but the thing is um I was talking to uh, one of my teachers I was talking to one of my teachers right and he said that um like these days the soft porn everywhere soft pornography everywhere like wherever you go billboards tv advertisements online advertisements everywhere wherever you go you find this now how should you hide now you're probably thinking yeah fine if it's everywhere then it's not my fault is it well it is your fault in one way but at the same time it's not your fault for example when you walk in the streets right if you're walking with head high just you know looking your head everywhere obviously it's your fault in that case right but for example and but if you're looking down no no not really caring you're just looking down walking man you're in your own business you're not going to be seeing none of this stuff right but here's the thing obviously you need to look up once in a while to see to see if you're going to bash into someone at that point if you see someone obviously it's not your fault so you know you should make stuff you should make um still far at that point or oh, and just look, look down again we'll continue with the life even coming from coming from where i mean is talking about uh the subject of soft pornography or what, what he's talking about uh yes a lot of things are outside in the open a lot of um you know billboards advertisements uh on youtube on, on different websites but you do have the option to you know you do there are ways and near the end of time allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that, you know this has this will become very very common that it's commonplace in in our society and you can see today with um, our sisters uh, may allah give everyone guidance that even muslim sisters are becoming you know westernized and uh, the, the clothing they wear is more for fashion than it is to pleasing allah one thing that I, I believe I did mention before, maybe I haven't mentioned on, on video before, is if you are wearing a hijab, please respect the hijab. Do not wear it half-heartedly for, for fashion. Uh, same, with, same with same with clothes. Um, if, you, if you're wearing it, please wear it for the sole purpose of modesty. Do not wear it to show off or do not wear it to you know, show that, yes, I'm Muslim at one point, but haram in another point. Uh, subhanAllah, you know, different sayings of... Uh, between Muslims have come out actually uh, halal in the streets and this that but what I want to say and, uh, and joining on from that point is a lot of people a lot of comedy has come out of uh, today's world and also that is another sign that you know that a mockery will, will, will become commonplace and I really do warn you brothers and sisters that people who take the mick out of, of Islam is a very 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 dangerous thing I remember in uh, secondary school, uh, it was just a little harmless joke someone was pulling, saying, you know, you even see it today in schools where they say Allah Akbar pretending to be this and that. But subhanAllah, the implications and, and the, the backlash you can have on your deen, it's immense. To the point where the Prophet ﷺ said that it can take you out of the fold of Islam, not on the brink, out of the fold of Islam. So you're not even Muslim and you have to retake your shahada. And so only Allah knows if He will forgive you. Or you know, it's not. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Lord of the worlds. Um, he will judge you accordingly. We are not here to judge anyone. But I would like to finish uh, on the note. I'd like to finish on, the, on this note, you know. Um, Please be wary of what you do because a lot of things today have become commonplace that are haram. You know, music, uh, pre mixing, uh, things like this. And in, inshallah, Allah, I, I hope Allah can, uh, you can you know, stay away from these things and Allah can give us the strength to, to stay away. And I make dua for the entire ummah. And uh, if Amin has any closing remarks also, yeah. to me. close off, I would like to say that um, you know, this people now I've seen I've seen many people these days right you know backbiting that's one of the most common sins one of the most common sins around after music one of the most common sins. wherever you go you hear people gossiping backbiting now when you see people backbiting you should you know, obviously it's it's, it's I'll, I'll be honest I'm um, I'm a couple of this as well okay I backbite a lot I'll be honest 
okay. But I try to, you know, um, when, when I when I when I when I when I think that when I feel as if I'm I'm about to backbite, I try to, you know, um, take move away from the company. And that's what you should be aiming for. You should not, be, you should, uh, you know, you should be thinking, okay, well, um, if I backbite, well, well, what are the implications of backbiting? What what sins am I gonna get? Well, what's the problem backbiting? He has a problem. Because the thing is, you know. If if I was to backbite someone, I would, he would take all my reward. That's 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 common knowledge. So um, to finish you off, I would say that you know try to hold when when you when you feeling about when you think about about to sin, you know just give adhan to yourself. Do you read adhan in your head? Shaitan will run away. So yeah. So wa qulha da Just to finish off, uh, please make du'a for us. Um, As we have exams. Strength, yeah. To to give us strength to complete these exams. And inshallah, <coughs> over the summer, we should have, if not weekly, then. At least a few videos in, in you know two weeks. Um, may Allah give us you know the ability to film in our free time and give us you know happiness in our life and barakah in our time also.